Question number seven involves a very simple experiment that anyone can do with a pair of binoculars in their back garden on a starry night. Find a bright star in the night sky, preferably one that is on its own with no stars around it. Now take your binoculars and look at the same star again. You will notice that you can now see more smaller stars around it. Now the immediate fanboy reaction to this will be that the light is not strong enough to be seen by the naked eye. But wait. If you go out to the countryside where the light pollution is not so bad, these small points of light are clearly visible without the aid of binoculars. So we know that the light is definitely strong enough to be reaching our eyes. Again, referring to Ripley's, light can travel forever and ever through the void of space. But apparently, when you're in your back garden, it stops a few hundred feet from where you're standing. I know, I know, light pollution and all of that. But if you now take an even more powerful telescope, even more points of light appear in your field of view. And that will keep happening by increasing the optical power of the telescope. From these simple observations, we have to conclude one of two things. Number one, these points of light are too weak for our eyes to see them. Number two, these points of light are too far away for us to see them. As we have been told by our learned scientists, light waves can travel millions of light years through space and it can take millions of light years for them to reach us. So the light from some of these distant stars is supposedly millions of years old by the time it reaches us. If the light from these distant stars did truly travel Bob Dillions of miles through space, then why did it stop a few hundred miles from Earth? This does not make sense. Surely, no matter how small the point of light is, it should still reach our eyes, eventually, yes? Apparently not. Even though some of these points of light are supposedly mega-huge galaxies and massive stars giving off humongous amounts of light, the light stops short of reaching us here on Earth. We need optical help to see it. The light from these distant stars has been travelling gazillions of miles for billions of years through space, dodging galaxies, gas clouds, clusters of stars, black holes, and probably a few aliens on their way to work as well, only to come to an abrupt halt a few hundred feet away. Using mainstream science's description of light, when we go out at night, we should be bombarded with a night sky completely lit up by the trillions of stars that are apparently out there, all hitting us with their light no matter how small an amount it is. The fact is, and this is easily proved, that light does not travel forever and a day. If it did, then we could light up a large room with a hand torch, because the light waves would constantly rebound off the walls in all different directions, eventually lighting the whole room up. This, as we all know, does not happen. Ah, but in space it's different, I hear you say. Space is empty, it's a void, it's a vacuum, there's nothing in it to stop the light waves. Apart from shed loads of dark matter and dark energy and dark chocolate, not to mention a few billion galaxies that this light conveniently bends around. Similarly, when our scuba nauts, sorry, our astronauts, go into space where the view is not obstructed by the Earth's atmosphere, they should be constantly and completely dazzled by an awesome array of starlight coming at them from everywhere and all directions. Or, all of the starlight is blocked out by a flaming ball of burning gas, our sun being constantly visible in the sky. Whatever option you choose, your wet dream heroes can't seem to make their minds up about it either. Yeah, uh, yeah. so yeah, because yeah, you time. can see, yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time. You... Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. You can't have it both ways, fanboys. Either light travels forever, 
or it doesn't. Period. Space Busters, the channel that makes you think, oh, whatever.